This is a Peter Lindemann Vote to be a traction motor. I have engineered this to the finest quality of standards. This is made from a specialist type of iron designed for electromagnets, transformers and motors. As you see it's very shiny and that's due to the fact that it's being nickel plated. Now if you see here, this rocket's not attached, soon it will be. This is the motor. It's a very simple, clean design and ingenious. It's basically a pulsed DC electric motor, brushless DC electric motor as well, you could add. I think simplicity in engineering is the very pinnacle of achievement. You want to minimize the amount of complexity in anything to increase reliability and to reduce costs. Now this very simple design, I think will change the world or so that I hope. So basically what we'll have this part here is a 3D printed, no, no sorry, this one's not 3D printed, this one's actually being machined out of high density polyethylene and all this is, is a bobbin and the coil will be wrapped around this, one large high covenant coil, single coil to power the motor which will be fitted in between there, as you can see, it'll fit in, if you can see that. It's about the same size as that, so it fits in the bottom there. It fits in the slot at the bottom, where the slot is actually. But anyway, so it's a single coil motor, and it'll be controlled by a custom 555 timer beast electronic circuit. This was all machined especially in China. My design for the bearing holders. The bearing holders are made from T6 grade aluminium alloy and were machined out of a solid billet of aluminium. These are only designed, these are here for the bearing holders, these hold the bearings and the rotor stationary. Ow, oh, hit myself there. What the hell? So it is quite a dangerous machine due to the fact that it's got sharp edges, it spins very fast, and if you get your finger caught at night, you'll know about it. As that spins, you don't want to get your finger caught there, because it's going to chop it off or seriously hurt it. So eventually, once we've done mechanical dynamo dynamometer testing, dynamometer testing on the unit, we'll be able to determine what the efficiency is. Now, according to Dr. Peter Lindemann and some of his colleagues and other hobbyists and DIYers and inventors who have built smaller versions, less well-engineered versions, in my opinion, the really way. But this system is supposed to reach between 400 and 800% efficiency or a coefficient of performance greater than one. So a coefficient of performance estimated to be at least four, possibly eight. Now according to mainstream physics, this device should not work at all because we are told due to the laws of thermodynamics that energy cannot be created or destroyed but can only change from one form to the other. But this machine, this machine will definitely work and convince the way. Many, many years have been planning to build this and now it's finally coming together. All this is custom made and I'm really, really delighted with the quality that the Chinese company 
Done for us. It's a really good deal also. This has all been sandblasted, but that's not important. It's a nice smooth finish. Whereas this is a little bit rough because I never paid to get this sandblasted, which you should have done. And the commercial product will all be sandblasted and then cleaned and then nickel plated. Possibly even triple, three times nickel, nickel coating as this for extra durability. Because the machines that we are working on, and this is just one of them, will be of the highest quality available and with no planned obsolescence built in. I hope you enjoyed this video so far and this is the work I've done on a Peter Lindemann style rotary attraction motor. Best regards and have a good day. Bye.